Probably for the best? Yeah, I'd imagine so too. I think that's probably for the best too. Okay, feelings are important, DM Prime. Feelings are important. Kappa. Alright, so we have big blind value this game. Is he not picking until I'm picking? What if I don't pick until he picks? You know what? We're both just never gonna pick talents. Let's go, Rhaegar. Your talents are more valuable than mine. Oh ho ho, he's not going for the uh, thing, dude. He's not going for the totem. But if he's not going for the totem, I don't have to go for amateur either. But I mean, I should probably go for amateur. Anyways. It's just, it's just so good. <laughs> There's no alternative. No, my wave clear versus hogger wave clear. Look at this BS. Why does his hero have no wave clear, baby rage? I would go dings if I thought there was any chance I could get dings, but I don't think there's any chance I even get any. Their heroes are very good at fast clearing and running away. Playing Artanis to because I, I want to test if it can counter Rhaegar. I think it does to a certain extent. The Rhaegar is OP right now because of his totem, and Artanis with amateur opponent one shots the totem. I'm playing Artanis because everyone else is playing Rhaegar. I guess that's the answer. Like he didn't even go the totem one talent because I'm Artanis, and that's the most OP talent in the entire uh, kit probably. Still waiting for Probius. Oh, you, you might be waiting for a long time. Have fun waiting for that one. He didn't go totem because of the Storm League. Uh, yeah. There's a chance of that too, but this is a high GM game, so <laughs> it's uh, definitely not that in a high GM game. Does Rainer counter Rhaegar too? No, I don't think Rainer's thing works against Totem. Artanis' thing is like different than most of the other ones. I think most of the other ones say it does bonus damage to minions and mercenaries. Artanis says it deals bonus damage to non-heroes. So it's uh... As far as I know, it's the only one that does bonus damage to a totem. I'm gonna try Q build maybe. Maybe uh, see if this actually helps my wave clear. They have a lot of um, physical damage anyway, so spell shield is not quite as mandatory this game. Although it's still really good. It actually does help the wave clear quite a bit. Not perfect still, but something. 
Does the 13Q do? Reduce the mana cost each time that activates, reduce the cooldown. It's pretty good. Alright, I'm down. Get back in your lane. Your opponent is me. Although I can't actually do damage to him by myself or at least so. Let's keep clearing the creep waves. All the bell mask kids trying to troll me today. Has there been many? I only remember the one. We had blast shield there, man. Feels no shield. A lot of sauce, but a little sauce. Alright, I guess I could go soak now. Well, maybe not actually. Back to our lane. I think things can still do the job. Well, that's not unwinnable. Maybe we could still win with things. The problem with this game is I just don't think I would get many things. I'd be at like 50 stacks right now or something. Because the hogger can instant clear and just run. So if you can never get things in your solo lane, it's usually just bad. So you have to solo lane too often. Oh, I suppose in a perfect world I was supposed to be 4-man Arcanist. Maybe I could have 4-man while the uh, Leo matched Hogger, but that wasn't happening in this game. I haven't really been doing murder camps. What up, Justin? On my way. Stand with me. 
Appreciate that, Justin. Just playing, just playing. Just trying to slow him down. Sure, we're trading. I guess I'll just keep soaking it then. If we're trading, that one's dead for sure, but so is top, so the logical thing to do is not defend the one that's already hopeless. Logical thing to do is get more value somewhere else. gonna get 16 any second now. Might as well do the camp. We're not gonna get OBJ before they hit 16 and try to force. What up, face face? People new year to you too. Same same. Could I hijack with Emerald? Maybe. Depends how good the Terrio is. If he sinks before Emerald. Won't work. Q number two. Oh, dead. <laughs> Unless Q number three. I'm a queuing machine. Q number four! Queuing machine, baby! An excellent strike. Q spam's legit. It's actually pretty good, but usually uh, it's only when spell shield is low value, which means they have mostly auto attackers. It's pretty situational. Oh, not only that, they also have to have low CC, so. Because your, your Q can be interrupted really easily. So it's like, you need them to have not too much CC, not too much spell damage. But in that case, it is pretty good in that case, yes. Because you get a ton of resets. That AO'd eat me? Are you flipping my flapperjacks? I cannot believe that AO eat me, brother. Lame. Q number two. Man, they can't kill me, I think, without CC. I'm just gonna infinite Q. People giggly. Q number three. Q number. Alright, you know, they wouldn't have been able to kill me if I didn't say they can't kill me. Jinxed it again! Jinxed every time. If I didn't say it, it wouldn't have happened. Ooh, that was a good ball. But that was a 4 versus 5, because they killed our Brightwing before anything even happened, so pretty good for a 4 versus 5. Quick! Do the camps! Yeah, 
mean, maybe, maybe we could have. Our Johanna was in Antarctica, though, so <laughs> no way to do it if he was in Antarctica. Is that our tennis build good? 